Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. I have a lot of videos that are demonetized. Many, many videos that are demonetized. If you look at this scrolling of my email, you can see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos that are demonetized. Well, what that is, is that some videos, I might play clips of five songs, so it'll get five demonetizations, but that means that those five different artists will split the money of my video, all the money. So I make no money, it all goes to them. And then occasionally I get one of these, which is a blocked video notice from YouTube. What that means is that the video is physically taken down. I don't get very many of those, but I usually will make a video about it if it's something that I think is important. I got one a couple months back, as you can see here, from Simon and Garfunkel for my What Makes This Song Great video that I did of theirs. And I didn't really say anything on here. It's the second video that had been taken down out of my series of 99 videos. I'm almost to video 100 and my What Makes Us Sound Great series. The other video was episode 12, which was Fleetwood Mac. So I've had Fleetwood Mac, Simon and Garfunkel take videos down. But then today was a first. I saw in my email a really odd looking thing. What it was is this. This is a copyright takedown notice. I'd never seen this before. It says, your video has been taken down from YouTube. What makes this song great? Episode 99, The Cars. It says, due to a copyright takedown notice that we received, we had to take down your video from YouTube. Then it says here, you received a copyright strike. Now, I've never gotten a copyright strike in 790 videos dating back to 2016. I've had videos blocked, but nobody ever has given me a copyright strike goes on to say, you now have one copyright strike. If you get multiple copyright strikes, three, we will have to disable your account. That means take my YouTube channel down. It says, to prevent this from happening, please don't upload videos containing copyrighted content that you aren't allowed to use. Well, I play copywritten material in almost every video. My entire series of what makes this song great is about playing the song and talking about it. You can't teach people music without playing examples. I can't do something, well, you know, this is like Led Zeppelin or like Bach. This is something I created that's like it and you're gonna learn from it. No, you have to learn from the actual sources. And I decided this way back in my channel, right at the beginning. It's like, don't worry about demonetizations. Play the music you need to play. The artists get paid the money for my videos and I can teach what I want to teach because that's the best way to teach people. I don't believe in making videos just to make money from the video views and not use any copywritten content. The artists are making money just like they're making it when their videos get played. If somebody goes to Vivo and plays their video, they get paid the exact same. A million views pays 1200 bucks. The Cars video at 355,000 views made him probably about 350 bucks, 400 bucks. Of course, I don't have a problem with the artists making money from their songs. They should, I mean, right? I don't claim fair use. I got on and testified in front of the House Subcommittee for Intellectual Property, and I, don't, I can't remember if it was Senator Tillis or Senator Coons, but they asked me, how come you don't dispute some of these if they're fair use? Because I don't want to have my channel taken down. I've spent almost five years making 790 videos. And like that, you get three strikes and that's it. They literally take your channel down and you have no recourse. Just because somebody sitting at UMG sees this, oh, they're using the cars. Well, the cars, not only do the cars give them instru instructions to block the video, but they give them instructions to give them a copyright strike, okay? So this is actually probably not only UMG, but it'd have to be whoever owns the publishing on this, if it's Rico Kasich's family or whoever, I don't know. But somebody decided to go one extra step, not just to block the video. If you wanna block it, fine, right? If you don't want your music out there, you don't want people to say that your songs are great, no problem. I won't ever talk about the cars again, never, ever. No problem. But the copyright strike is just BS. Let me tell you some of the bands that I've used their music in my videos and made videos about why their songs are great. Like Tool, who have not only, I've made two Tool videos, but they promoted my videos on their Facebook page and didn't even monetize the videos. 
Boston, Steely Dan, Van Halen, Led Zeppelin, Yes, Toto, Nirvana, Rush, System of a Down, The Police, Alice in Chains, Metallica, Journey, Smashing Pumpkins. These bands are totally cool with it. Slipknot, all these bands, right? Elton John, but The Cars? Come on, The Cars? 99 videos, Fleetwood Mac, Paul Simon, and The Cars. That's it. But this copyright strike, the thing that's outrageous about it, usually you get a copyright strike if you dispute a claim and you lose the dispute, then they can give you a copyright strike. This is just a copyright strike out of nowhere for no reason. I've never disputed a claim, ever. You see when that thing flashed down how many copyright claims I've had. I don't dispute any of them. Take the money from the video. One of the reasons that I haven't done many of the What Makes This Song Great videos lately, I used to do a couple a month at least, but I stopped doing them for a while because I didn't want to deal with this stuff. It's not worth it to talk about these historic bands. I mean, honestly, I thought with my channel, talk about these things, try to, to introduce new audiences, younger people to these bands like The Cars that are classic bands that were great songwriters that had important records but they don't care about that. One of the things that it says in the email is that you can dispute it with the person that made the claim, but I can't find anywhere on there who the person is other than it just says UMG, Universal Music Group. The only recourse is to go to somewhere like Twitter, like I did this morning, and I posted this that UMG blocked it. I tagged UMG and I tagged the cars. The only other thing that's actually worked on my channel is when I get on and make one of these videos. Share the video with people. This copyright strike stuff is just lame. I know I have a friend that, that called me. He's like, you know, I got a copyright strike for a Brian Adams song from six years ago. Just out of the blue. I'm like, what? The video's been up for six years and you got a copyright strike? Well, they contacted his management and they took away the strike. Well, I don't know who to contact. I mean, I can go to copyright school, it says in the email. Copyright school is, I don't know, I, I think you go on there, you watch some videos, you answer some questions. But I've testified before Congress about the content ID system. I've actually done a panel with a bunch of people at YouTube that do all their content ID algorithms. I talked, this is about two months ago or so. I did a thing where a bunch of people from around the world got together and I was their guest and I answered questions on how they could improve their content ID system. Well, I tell you how you can improve it. How about providing how you reach these people? Who do I write to about this? Is it UMG, somebody there, somebody at their publishing company, somebody related to the cars? Who do I write to to say, can you please take this copyright strike away? So that's it for today's video. Uh, sorry that I uh, did my rant here, but it's just ridiculous after nearly five years to still go through this. You know, I was getting ready to do episode 100 on what makes this song great. And it just makes me not want to do any more of these, you know, or at least only focus on current bands, which I probably should do anyways. These heritage bands, if they don't want this stuff, you know, I mean, whatever. They can, you know, disappear, whatever. It doesn't matter. Young people don't know who any of these people are. Young people don't even know who bands were from 10 years ago. No, it's ridiculous. This is why, too. This Life moves fast. New things are out there all the time. Go to Spotify. I do my top 10 list four months later. You know, it used to be the same song could be on the charts for eight weeks at number one. Now, you know, they're gone. It's just replaced with all, it's, it's totally replaceable. That's the problem, right? Anyways, support the video. You share it with people. Leave a comment. Like the video. That's all I have to say for today. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching.